Hi everybody, this is Ms. Jansicle. Today for math, we are going to continue with the RDW process when solving word problems. So let's review what the RDW process is. The R stands for read the problem, D stands for draw and label, and W stands for two things, write the number sentence and write a statement. So let's use the RDW process to solve this word problem. Okay, read it with me. Frederick counted a total of 80 flowers in the garden. There were 39 white flowers and the rest were pink. How many flowers were pink? Did I read the problem? Yes. So I'm going to put a check mark next to that. That means I read it. Now before I move on to the D for draw and label, I'm going to underline the question. The question in this problem is, how many flowers were pink? That's what I'm trying to find the answer to. Now I know this is a question because it begins with the question word how and it ends with the question mark. Okay, so how many flowers were pink? I need to find out how many flowers were pink. After underlying the question, I am going to circle important information that will help me solve the problem. So let's take a look at the problem. What are some important information that will help us solve the problem. Hmm. I think Frederick counted a total of 80 flowers is important. This will definitely help me solve the problem. Sorry, this is not a perfect circle. And I think this is also important. There were 39 white flowers. That's important to know. And this is also important, you guys. The rest were pink, okay? And that's, we don't know how many are pink. That's what we want to find out. We know that Frederick has a total, or counted a total of 80 flowers. 39 were white. The rest were pink. I don't know how many were pink. We're going to find out. Now it's time for us to do the D, which is draw and label. Now I can draw... 80 circles to represent the flowers, but I'm going to teach you another way to do this. I'm going to teach you how to draw a tape diagram, okay? So a tape diagram would look like this. I know that there were, I know he counted a total of um, 80 flowers. So I'm going to put 80 up here. And 39 of it was what? White. And I'm going to label W for white. And it says here the rest were pink. I don't know how many were pink, so I'm going to put a question mark, okay? Sorry, guys, that's a question mark. And I'm going to label that P, P, P for pink. So 80 is what Frederick counted. That is the whole. I could put C up here for what he counted, okay? So here we have a whole part part, right? We know the whole, 80. The part that we know is 39 white flowers. What we don't know is how many were pink. This is what's called drawing and labeling. Now by looking at this picture here, what do you think is the operation that we're going to use to solve this problem? So in math, there are four operations. There's addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, we're not doing multiplication division yet. You'll get that in the upper grades. So it's either addition or subtraction. Now looking for the problem, from the drawing and the problem, it sounds like it's a subtraction problem. Okay, it's not addition. We're not adding 80 and 39. It's not asking how many did he pick in all, right? He said, okay, they're saying, well, he counted a total of 80 flowers, part of it. 39 was white, the rest, we don't know, okay? So did I just draw a label? Yes, I'm going to put a check mark there. Now it's time to write the number sentence. So I said it was subtraction. So the number sentence would be 80 minus 39, okay? 80 minus 39. Looks like there's some regrouping going on here, right?
Okay. So my answer is 41. That is my number sentence. 80 minus 39 equals 41. Okay, this is my number sentence right here. But I'm not done yet. I have to write a statement. When you're writing a statement, you always want to go back to the question. The question asks, how many flowers were pink? Okay, so my statement would be 41 flowers were pink. Not 41 flowers, okay? 41 flowers were pink. That is a statement. A statement is a complete sentence, and you have your period. All right, so I'm going to put a check mark there because I wrote the number sentence and the statement. So did you guys see how I did that? You see how I read the problem? I drew and labeled, and then I wrote a number sentence and a statement. Okay, so this is what you need to do when you are solving word problems. And the more you do it, the better you will become at solving them. Okay, and this also shows your teacher your the thinking process behind um, behind your, your, your solving the problem. All right, now what I'd like for you to do is solve this one on your own. Okay, so I'm going to read it with you, and then you're going to solve it on your own. Daniel counted a total of 70 marbles in the classroom. There were 43 small marbles, and the rest were big. How many marbles were big? So this problem is similar to what we did here. Now what I want you to do is use the RDW process. Read the problem, draw a label, and write a number sentence and a statement, just like I did here, okay? All right, my students, that is the end of our math lesson for today. Thank you for joining me today, and um, good luck with this problem, and I will see you next time. Bye.